uncertainty. Yes. Right now, I'm of uncertainty. Yes. Right now, I'm so anxious. Mm -hmm. um, I think the show is about how we are all feeling, uh, how anxious we are, mm -hmm. politically, artistically, the COVID the last nine months or so, you know, not being able to communicate, see, socialize, um, cooped up. Um, actually, we're I'm of uncertainty. Yes. Right, yes. right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. I think the show is about, show is about, about, about how we are all doing, how we are how we are politically, artistically, artistically, the last, the last, nine months, 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 nine months,
making this happen, mm -hmm. and especially my co curator of comedy, mm -hmm. uh, Ethan Cohen, mm -hmm. for this incredible space that he has been cultivating, and hopefully, it'll become something like the contemporary version of the Dia Foundation. Mm -hmm. And as I think the exhibition underscores that. Um, Gabriel, how does it feel? Oh, yeah, so, how does it feel? You have a solo show? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's going to be honest. It's so awesome. Congratulations. Thank you, man. So, Gabriel, what are we exactly? Well, we're going to be in New York. Yeah. And that's space. It's space, I guess. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Marie Nevada, how did you feel? That's great. Mm -hmm. It's an amazing show. Yeah? Yeah, it's, uh, it's an amazing museum show. Yeah, yeah, in every room you find something that and then you kind of you're pulling the thread and finding more. I had a beautiful experience, actually, but I'm in it. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. And your piece is an installation piece, right? Yes, they are. There's a performance artist right there. Um, it's a really cool performance piece. He has um, some of the pomegranates. He's uh, laid on the floor. And it's very nice and in that atmosphere. And I'm very, you know, excited that my work is good and nice. <laughs> What, you've got two dogs of your own? Yeah, one, three. They're called Am Am Amos. What sort of dogs? Uh, they're dachshunds. Are they in the collection here? Uh, yeah, I think they're over there or downstairs or something. Now, for people not familiar with the way you go about it, how did you actually do them? Um, What's the process involved? Well, I take a foot around.
be a marvelous... You have called yourself a genius, yes? Many different fields, you know? You? Yes. What else besides an artist? Uh, the more important in my life, more color plume, more color okay. painting, more color my draftsmanship is my personality. Draftsmanship? My personality oh, is more important than every of these little facets of, of my activity. In other words... It's about the self it's also about the self this is an artist, Milan. Uh, my name is Lucifer. This is Hannah Morris, who's crying. She's a graduate student. She was an artist in this building. We have over 60 artists in this building. Every different type of art. This is a young woman. I just thought she was interesting in this idea of the past. If you want to, you, walk this way? you can walk how you like. It's nice to get. It's nice to get the face of the artist. Yes, of this is my great grandmother's home. I see. In Germany, in Germany? Okay. 1938. 1938. Okay. That's it. Wow. Oh, look how beautiful. Was, did she like music? She has. Oh, a, she's a chemist. She's a chemist.
Uh, first, how do you pronounce your name? Raul. Raul? Yes, last name is Demudio. Demudio? Yes. And first, I would like to thank everybody for coming on this uh, beautiful but yet it's a damp day. And I would also like to thank um, the crew here at Keith for mm -hmm. making this happen, mm -hmm. and especially my co curator and colleague, mm -hmm. uh, Ethan Cohen, mm -hmm. for this incredible space that he has been cultivating and hopefully it'll become something like the contemporary version of the Dia Foundation mm -hmm. and as I think the exhibition underscores that uh, Ethan as well as my ethos of working as a curator has always been to try to be as encompassing as possible and especially during the situation we find ourselves in mm -hmm. under the pandemic we, we try to reevaluate what it is today to be working under um, these types of conditions mm -hmm. and that it has forced us or I should say myself personally but I might speak for him as well is that um, it made us reevaluate what it is about um, art making today that makes it very important mm -hmm. regardless of all the other financial attractions and the sort of um, uh, sort of inbreeding uh, um, sort of uh, maybe even nepotism that sometimes the one finds in our world. Mm -hmm. And uh, to give opportunities to artists that possibly have not shown here, especially, and also that um, through the invitation of working with them, that hopefully I'll be able to cultivate a working relationship with them in, um, in the future. And um, the exhibition itself, the thematic, was on the one hand to look much broader than like sort of political shows that might be out there, you know, responding to the um, presidential election that's coming up and mm -hmm. so we wanted to broaden that because the aspects of the condition that we're living today is not just national or local but it's actually international so many of the artists in the exhibition are international because the, the world that we're living in is so uncertain that it, inc it includes them and the um, actions that um, occur by those that are in charge and that um, might not have a best Thank you, Raul. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Pedro, for giving me this opportunity to take a moment. I feel like um, I'm very inspired by the space here.